Hello everyone, welcome to the lecture series on PLC programming. In today's video, we are going to look at example number 13, which is control of traffic lights in one direction. We have always seen a traffic signal in real life, isn't it? Let us assume there is a car that is moving in the road. At some point in time, it should stop at the junction and it must obey the traffic rules, isn't it? When we talk about traffic rules, it's associated with light and each light corresponds to a particular action. So now the requirement is as follows. Red light should be on for 15 seconds, green light should be on for 10 seconds, and orange light should be on for 5 seconds. How do we achieve this using a ladder diagram? Or how do we draw a ladder diagram for this type of control of traffic lights? It's pretty straightforward. So now let us look at the ladder diagram. And uh, from there, we will start off uh, with the analysis part. So if you carefully observe, we're using three on delay timers. One is for red and the other one for green and the last one is for orange. And the preset time over here clearly suggests according to the requirement. We wanted 15 seconds for red and 10 seconds for green and 5 seconds for orange. So we have the requirements in hand and we have the timer specific to the time duration that is required. Now how do we start analyzing these type of uh, ladder diagrams? So at the first place, one thing that you have to note here is these are normally closed contact and they will act as short circuit. So whichever is acting as short circuit and uh, uh, is basically allowing the current to flow through it is indicated in green in this particular fashion. So uh, once it is energized, also it will be indicated in green. So don't get confused with it. So now since this is normally closed contact, since uh, it is acting as short circuit, the rung will get energized the on delay timer will get energized and according to the working of on delay timer once it is energized the enable bit will go high instantly if you carefully observe t40 enable bit is used over here so this gets energized immediately and the rung gets energized as this is already uh, acting as a short circuit the current flows through this path and the right red light over here starts glowing so now what happens is that the red light duration is for 15 seconds and the on delay timer starts counting values up to 15 seconds. And after 15 seconds, what happens? Done bit goes high over here. So be very careful over here. I'm not indicated DN, but uh, add on to that uh, uh, if you are trying to write this on a notebook. So ensure that uh, this is labeled as DN. And once this goes high, if you carefully observe over here, this goes low. This is because this is energized and this is normally closed contact. Once this goes low, what happens? There will be no current flowing through this path and the red light stops. Now, as the red light is stopped, what happens? Simultaneously, you have to think about another aspect where T40 done bit is also given over here. So the same address is used. So as a result, this gets energized and the run gets energized. The on delay timer gets energized. As the on delay timer is energized, the enable bit gets high instantly. Since the enable bit of T41 is high, this gets energized now because the same address is used over here. And as a result, the rung gets energized and the green light starts glowing. So it keeps counting uh, for a duration of 10 seconds and it uh, waits for it. And after 10 seconds is done, the done bit of the green on delay timer becomes high. So once this goes high, what happens? Immediately this will go low, isn't it? Because the T41 done bit was low previously and that is why this was high because this is normally closed contact which exactly acts opposite to the normally open contact so this goes high this will go low and what happens if this is open no current will flow through this path isn't it as a result the entire rung will get de-energized and the green light stops one more thing that you have to note here is since t41 done bit is high simultaneously this also becomes high because the same contact is used over here that is basically the address of this contact is basically used here. Now the run gets energized. The on delay timer of orange light gets energized. Consequently, the enable bit goes high instantly. Since the enable bit goes high instantly, T42 enable bit will be high. As this is high, the run gets energized and the orange light starts glowing now. Again, this is for a time period of 5 seconds. So you will have a provision for 5 seconds. Uh, and then after five seconds, the process repeats where the red light starts. But in this, what happens? After five seconds, 
the done bit goes high as the done bit goes high this will go low according to the previous cases and since this is open circuit the orange light stops so since this done bit is going low what happens this will also go low and consequently on delay timer will be de-energized and the enable bit goes low and uh, the done bit goes low this will also go low this will also go low this will go low this will go low and the entire process comes to an halt so this is basically for one complete cycle that's it so you can design it for having this as a continuous operation as well uh, but basically it depends on the requirement again i hope you were able to analyze uh, control of traffic lights in one direction using a ladder diagram in case you have any questions feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below if you like this video please do like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thanks for watching this video please do keep supporting thank you